What's up, thugs and gangsters? <laughs> this week, we get this truck body riding low. And we fix the steering. And at the end, stick around, we're gonna have, hopefully, a special surprise. Oh wait, this is, here's the hook. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go, that's probably what we were trying to do. Well, the, the things I'm willing to do to make sure you guys get the great shots. Let's be honest, no one wants to miss out on the greatness that is Ryan. Now listen, I'm like a popo. I'm coming for y'all. Okay, Ryan, we're getting ready to do these body mounts, right? Get on them body mount. So you can see right there, there's uh, it's about a three inch lift, right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. On these body mounts, there's obviously a bolt that's going up. It's a, Hold on, let it? me get my bosom up here so people can see it. <laughs> so, with my bosom cam, you can see the body mount. <laughs> my bosom cam. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I'm sure, yes. When I ordered on Amazon, that's what it said. <laughs> I wouldn't We're... Google that. Don't Google that. <laughs> Let me see your bosom cam. Hey, everybody. I'm kind of enjoying my bosom cam. So we are trying to figure out how to get to these body bolts. And I looked up and I saw a little plug-and-plug plug in. I was like, hey, now, if we just put that copper by, but all that going to be all plug-and-plug-in. Plug so we just pop that sucker out. Look at that, y'all. We can put a ratchet right on top of that there and turn it on there and root it on up. Let's get up the hill. Really? <laughs> wait, wait, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a ratchet on that there and hang right there and then get them so they can hold it still and I'll crank it on. What size ratchet do we need, right? What, the one that fits it. Duh. the right way? Yeah. It's not right. It's out. Oh, it is? Yeah. Why didn't you say something? I was, I was yelling at you, yeah, and you couldn't you hear dropped, me. You dropped filth in my ear holes. <laughs> I just don't like it. Don't like filth in my ear hole. <laughs> hey! Do we do the other side then? Uh, sure, right? I'll do everything. We should have sprayed her with some of that there pipe bait blaster. That, that pipe bait blaster will blast her freight through the floor. I'm ready. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I hit my head on the door. All right, I think we broke the bolt. I think we did too. Huh? I think we did too. How long did it break? Long enough. Snap that baby. Here we go. to everyone what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of hardware. I just want to make sure that we had the right pieces in the right places. 
Yeah, and we don't, guys, we don't have the bod bed bolts yet in setup. So if someone knows where we can get the bed um, balance and bolts, factory height, if you could hit us up with a link below, we'd appreciate it. Again, we need the body mount bolts and mounts for the rear bed. Yeah. We got everything else. So what's well, going on here, Jay? If you look at the paper, we're doing, so we're doing position two and position three. Three is obviously the back behind the cab. Position two is in front of the cab. And so these ones think. here are position two. Hold on a second. Right. And this is position three. There's one. One. Then two. Two with our very safe uh, piece of wood. And then three is going to be him. Jason. Yeah, I'm ready. Nothing to it but to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Yeah. And the back's still up, so wait until the back comes down, dude. Bro, it's gonna look so good. Ryan is really excited. You don't understand, I've been waiting for this for months. Dude, <laughs> that's so cool, bro. Let's take a look at the side here. <laughs> here, let me shut that door. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the that's like the real cool truck now, huh? Right. Yeah, we should leave it like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. People would love that. And there you have it, Ryan. One body lift removed, back yes, to stock, and that thing is low. It looks right? great, guys. I'm Love excited. it. I've been waiting for this moment, but now we're on to steering. So steering. everyone wants to know, how in the world are you gonna get a Crown Vic steering to a Ford F-150? And it's really simple. You call Dennis at Farm Truck Racing, and he tells you exactly what to buy, right. and then you do it. Right, so, so we went to Summit Racing. We went to Summit Racing. We bought two parts. We bought this right here, which we'll have the part number in the description so you guys can get it too. Yeah. So this, this part right here is the part that sleeves. Yeah, this goes on the, this is literally shaped to match the Crown Vic knuckle. It is, right, so it's it perfect. Goes so it right here. Yep. And then this piece is shaped for your steering uh, stock. Yep. Which goes right here. Yep. And then what you do is you put this piece in, you yep. figure out your length, you cut it to the length you need, and then you um, slide that up in there. Slide into, sleeve it into this, and weld it a bead all the way around, and that's it. Piece guys. of cake. It's really now, cool. if it's if we can get it to go up inside this, yes. and move up and down, we could get it perfect, right? I mean, it'll yeah. it'll have some movement yes. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to get it to the. That'll right. be good. So, let me put this through. All right.
you got your uh, you got your little adapter knuckle, right? Your yeah. U joint there. Yep. So you gotta pull this bolt completely out, and okay. then this only has one way it can go on. Right. You see how difficult. It's then... even uh, idiot proof for us. Yes. that I have is we have to have another U-joint. Yep. That's what I think. Alright guys, like everything we've done so far, we get so close only to realize we don't have it. <laughs> so the problem we're having is we need it, uh, which I thought we would need. Uh, I think we're going to need another U-joint up here. Yeah. Because this and this I mean, you guys can see this whole bar needs to drop down into here. Yeah. And you don't want double joints here. So if we put another U-joint up here, yeah, that's this this type of U-joint right here I'll, I'll, uh, that goes into a normal three-quarter shaft on both ends, right up here. Because if you look right now, we're bottomed out on the firewall. We yeah. can't go any further. And we don't want that. We want it to sit like that. Yep. So to do that, we come up in here, we cut this, we put another U-joint on here, that'll bring it down to here, which will allow this to all connect. Yep. Uh, I could be wrong, guys. Anyone knows I could be wrong. Just let us know what you guys have done. Dennis, Farm Truck Racing, I'll be reaching out to you, brother. So we'll see. Thank you, guys. This truck looks so good, right? You guys see the stance on this thing? This is what it's gonna look like, Ryan. Right? What do you think? No one's watching. Hey guys, let us know what you think of the bosom cam right here. <laughs> hey, let us know also if you have any ideas for that steering shaft. We, we think, have some thoughts, but we're not totally sure. We think we're just gonna get another U-joint and stick it right here. In his head. And send it. Yeah. Uh, also guys, we appreciate your support in watching this video. We're very thankful for you guys. And on Thank that you. note, we'll see you next time. Jammer Nation! <laughs>